Hello and good evening, it's your boy Reed from Studio Rockpile. We are back at it again, hopefully finishing up at least one of these Galwegians tonight. Probably gonna be a short stream, I'm a little exhausted. It's a Monday. Hope yours was, uh, at least as good as mine. Considering that it was a Monday, uh, we had a good laugh at work today. Fucking plumbers just talking straight shit the whole day. In all fairness, yeah, we did take like a full week to run two pipes. Uh, meme, meme of the night is a uh, not the one I said I was going to put up last time because I can't find it. Instead, it's a Viper album that I made when I was drunk. And it's so convincing as being a fake Viper album cover that, uh, well, a real one, that uh, the only reason that I know that it's not a legitimate Viper album is because it was saved in my Photoshop's recent files history. And I'm particularly pleased with it. Like, I, I can't explain how much I just love this album cover. For those unaware, uh, Viper is one of the, uh, I don't want to say greats of the internet, but he is a, the man is a living meme. I have mentioned his album covers more than once. Actually, maybe this was the one, I don't know. I forgot what it was that I said I was going to put up on Saturday. And, uh, I went back through the stream and I couldn't find it. What I said I was going to put up. So I'm putting this up, and hopefully this was that. But, uh, yes, Viper has made a number of hysterically titled albums, such as uh, My Collection of Guns, Cops Can't Read, Fuck the World, That Shit Ain't Real, I Bend the Spoon With My Mind too, and a few others that I can't say on the stream. Oh yeah, we're just taking a little bit of yellow ochre, mixing it with a little bit of white. Both Vallejo colors. And we're just pulling a couple of quick highlights on the sleeves because I did start shading those last time. And continuing watching the Marx Brothers movies, which I mentioned last time, and I would highly recommend, uh, because they're funny, very enjoyable, if you enjoy that Monty Python type humor. They are actually the inspiration for Monty Python, would you believe? Uh, I just watched Duck Soup, which was my favorite growing up as a kid, and as an adult, it holds up. If you're going to watch only one of their movies, watch Duck Soup. It's, 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 as far as I'm concerned, it's their best one. It's just, it, it was funny. Funny as shit. Also, I've had to uh, reassemble this exact model twice since Saturday. Because didn't my dumbass knock it clean over? And then my cat also knocked it clean over. Because he's been a really aggressively cuddly shit for the last 24 hours. Like, I have not been able to get rid of him today. and He's finally asleep out in the hallway. So. So we're going to have a nice quiet stream. Unless he wakes up. And the cat's going to be on stream again. Screaming in the hallway. Hollering about how he doesn't get enough ham. I'm good to my little butt. I give him ham in the morning when I'm making my sandwiches. Because he's a good boy and he deserves it. I love my cat. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that video with the 
Girl walks in to see what her boyfriend's doing, and it's him. And all the cats are in a bubble bath. And the cats are just hanging out in the bathtub with this dude, and he's reading to them. And she tries to take them out of the bath, and the cats get very annoyed. It's, uh, it's real good. I, uh, I, th I thoroughly enjoy that video because uh, that's that's just me with my cat. Oh, he's a boo, a boo. He got a chunky boy. He was a chunky boy. He's actually slimmed down in his old age. Okay, we all uh, we all love our round animals, but uh, do do please keep your pets healthy, okay? Obesity and. Obesity in house pets, especially house cats, is a major issue. I'm just working out the air bubbles. I was staring at my paint palette there for a second. I figured something was wrong, but I didn't know what. It was it was the paint boobles? I'm gonna get the boobles out. There we go. I also watched uh, Guns Akimbo today, a uh, Daniel Radcliffe movie where he has the, uh, the handguns bolted to his hands and there's that great screenshot everybody's seen where Daniel Radcliffe is in the bathrobe with the tiger slippies and, the, uh, and he's got the two guns and the caption everybody's probably seen for it is, Ron check this out these are way better than wands and uh, that's that movie. And it's it's stupid, and it's exactly what you expect it to be. It's Daniel Radcliffe, guns on his hands, and he gets into wacky situations. And at one point, they shoot out with the cops. Good movie, check it out. Just just give it a quick look. You don't gotta like it. Just just, just watch. It's funny. It's good shit. Fun shit. It's stupid and edgy, and it knows that it's stupid and edgy, and it's ironically enough a weird commentary on uh, social media. And me and the boys also watched it. Wait, did I mention that we watched a Neil Brain movie, or was that yesterday? That might have been. That might have been yesterday. Me and the boys watched the. Uh, a Neil Breen movie. And for those not aware of who Neil Breen is, are you aware of The Room by Tommy Wiseau? Because Neil Breen is just Tommy Wiseau if he bought into his own hype unironically and kept going after the first one. Like, Tommy Wiseau knows what's up. Or has come to know what is up. Neil Breen is not aware, and just, just keep making fucking movies. And the man loves his fake blood, okay? Like, if there is fake blood in the scene, he will go out of his way to get as much on him as possible. It's kind of... Let me put a little, little highlights on the back. Their highest points. I already highlighted the back twice, but the, I feel like it needs one more with a brighter color. Just at the highest points. As remember, every every shade lighter, smaller surface area. That's how we do. That's how light works. Really, if you want to do a good study on light, the trick I've been told is cover the model in oil, shine a very bright light at it, take a picture, blow it up in Photoshop, and then look at how the light hits the surfaces. And that'll 
really kind of give you an idea of what you're doing. And also, you get a feel for it, like right? It's art. You you do what you think you would do what you think looks good. At the end of the day, it's your model. You paid the ludicrous amount of money for it. Or you got it off of somebody on Kijiji for dirt cheap, and they paid a ludicrous amount of money for it, and then never got around to it because they got out of the hobby like six months later, which is a very common occurrence, trust me. Not that it's ever happened to me. I'm in it for the painting, not for the games. said it's like a almost like a form of meditation for me you had a stressful day cool go make some uh go make some art go make a little dude to sit on your shelf and looks cool or you're like me and you get into a uh Get into a fight with the manager of your local local games workshop about how their display models look like shit. True story. That was that his no, that was his hair. Ah. Highlighted the wrong thing. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. Let's go over one more time. And ba bam, look at that. Now it's a hair highlight. Who even gives a shit now? Do I like his left flush dried out? No, but it's watery as shit. Just gonna clean up some of the skin, which I thought we did. Missed a few spots. So I want to put up a photo on the Facebook page, which you can find in my About section on my channel. At, uh, there are a few blotchy skin patches that I need to clean. Actually on the underarm. Especially on the underarm. Alright. Kiss left flush. Hold that off. How the fuck do you darken skin tone? Yo, how do you darken skin tone? Does anybody know? I'm uh... I don't really cheat. But I am doing this as practice. The rest of them I'm just gonna do Seraphim CPU wash and then I'm gonna do a Kislev flush again and then mix it with a little bit of white. That's what I do. Because it's easy and it's effective. I've done it like 50 times. I'm gonna do it more. Because that's how it goes. It's easy. It's effective. It does a lot of damage. You know what, this might work. I want to do that. I just mixed it with what was already on there. If you want to know what that color was, because I don't remember, please check out a previous stream and subscribe while you're at it, because ha 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 meme. Don't forget to like the child, comment the child, subscribe the child to see more childs like this one. Is that one critical? I think critical said that. Okay. 
Yeah, that'll work just fine. That'll work. Just fine. Not too watery. Remember, if your paint's too watery, just dab off your brush a little bit. Mine's just come off like a wash. And while not a bad thing, it's not what I wanted. If I wanted a wash, I would I would have just made a wash. I think it was Blood Tracker Brown that I mixed with this kid's left flesh. I think that's what I did. Yeah, that appears to be what I did. So, kids left flesh, blood tracker brown. So, that's what we're painting with right now. That's where we are. And again, you shade in whatever skin tones you want. Tried other skin tones with uh, mixed results. Like nothing too horrendous, but uh, I don't know. There's just something about the uh, Nordic pale as fuck skin color palette that is just really easy for me to paint. And I think that's just because I painted an entire goddamn Space Wolves army. Maybe I'll do a skin tone study at some point. Okay, now I've done my darker bits. We're gonna clean up the spots that need to be lighter. Some of those did come out a little dark. I intended. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right. And then we're gonna take a little bit of Kislev flush, and we're gonna mix it with a bit of just a little bit of white. There's probably a better way to do it, but this is what I've done for years, and I'm not about to change it. Because we don't fuck with tradition. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh man, I don't know what it is today. And then we will just again. We're gonna highlight this boy's calves. And we're gonna highlight his knees. The one knee, the other one's under a kilt, you can't really see it. Oh, a tiny line, just a little one, just like that. Ah, uh, no, that's a chunk of paint that came off on it. Ah. Damn it, can't get it off now. It's very quickly set. I'll make it look like dirt or something later. Just roll with it. You make a mistake, it's fine. Just let it happen. Don't sweat it. We talked about it the other day. The only way you get better is by making mistakes. But you learn what doesn't work. And that isn't just optimism, that is pragmatism. If you can have somebody else to tell you what does and doesn't work, that's great, but actually making the fuck up yourself actually is... it's different. Like, it actually sets in that, oh no, this doesn't work, and this is why that doesn't work. That's how I've always learned. Always learn better by doing 
My white doesn't want to explode today, so that's nice. I'm going to clean up my mess from last time. Close this. I don't actually need that much white. I don't want to waste it. And it looks like a lot, but it's actually not. Okay, it is a lot. Shut up. Let's get more kids left. It's fine. A bit. Bend over from the side. And ignore the cat hair that is somehow wound up in there. Again. You own a cat, everything's got cat hair on. Okay, that's just. That's just how it is. I'll make the rules. That's it's the cat that's making those rules. And we're gonna use how about that shade? Tap off the extra wet. We are back to it. And again, if you want to use a smaller brush, that's up to you. This is the brush that I am most comfortable using. It's one I think I've actually been using for a solid year at this point. I like Army Painters brushes. They work for me, for what I do. I'll go buy in, uh, if you're just getting into this, you're not sure, go buy in like a $15 sable hairbrush. You don't need it and you'll destroy it. Just get a couple of cheapies. A couple dollar store boys. When you're starting out, they're just as good. Because you can't do all the fancy shit yet. Because you don't know any of the maintenance for it. Like, and again, I've, I've talked about brush maintenance a little bit in my streams, but like I've said, actually working with it is different from me telling you. So, you know, buy a couple of cheapies, learn the basics, get good at that. And if you're feeling up to it and you think this is a thing that you like and want to do, you do it for a little bit. You learn, learn all the little, how not to destroy your brush bits and maybe look at some sable hairbrushes because they are nice. I have one, one over there actually, I think. But I don't use it that much because uh, most of the way I handle a brush, I will just destroy it. I am a bad brush owner. I'm just touching up the absolute highest points. Just where the light would catch, you'd actually see. I don't know, maybe the light reflected in a sheet of sweat or on a ridge. Remember, Ariadne is a pretty uh, crazy temperature biome planet. It's all over the goddamn place. These dudes are fighting in jungles. Urban areas where the AC is broken. Sometimes they're even being lit on fire. Who knows? There are the eyes. Actually, I'm gonna uh, touch the eyes real quick while we're in here. Just uh. Let's take a little bit of white on them. Now, I'm not great with eyes. I will probably wind up washing the eyes. Give them a darkest dungeon treatment. Shit, I should get a little touch of black in there. That beard. Mouth. Blech. Better than 
nothing at all. Yo, know, fuck it, let's give him a tongue. Let's put a tongue in that pretty little head of his. Boom. Alright. Alright. What oh, got a... He got speaky parts now. Kinda looks like blood on his lip. Whatever. It's fine. He's angry. He's probably punched like six dudes in the face this morning alone. He's Glaswegian. He's pissed off. Probably hollering about the Margaret Thatcher. Or hollering about how he's Glaswegian. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the things my mom used to holler about. Oh shit, he's got eyebrows too. Gotta paint them eyebrows. Yeah. And we're just getting the dark parts. Well, you know, fuck, I'm just gonna paint the whole business dark. Then we'll go back over it. Because that's the easiest way that I've learned to do it. Remember, you can always go over it again. There's nothing stopping you. I just kind of wanted to clean up the hairline a little bit. The hairline was kind of bad. Again. Very tip of his nose. Oh man, did I damage the nose when I was assembling him? I said his nose is pretty flat. That up. I might have just fucked that up. It's fine, nobody's gonna see it. Nobody's gonna see it, it's too small. It's fine. It's like a battle scar. That's what we can say that is. There, now the eyeball's fixed. And there's another light spot there. Need to re darken. Just touch it. Just bright that part back. There we go. I won't get too hung up on it. You will be there all day. Gonna do his eyebrows. Gonna highlight his eyebrows. Just gonna put the eyebrows on because it's gonna be difficult enough. What? Just take it easy. Very light hand. And you too can put eyebrows on your. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Boy, I got them brows. Focus, damn you. Boy, got them brows. I'm not gonna do pupils. Okay, he's gonna wind up with googly eyes if I do pupils. Let me take off my jacket, cause it's getting toasty. Ugh. There we go. 
go. Man, OBS, you do you use a lot of processing power? I feel like you you make my computer very very warm. OBS doesn't, but logic capture does. I'm speaking relatively here, like it's using five percent of my processor, but I also have a uh, a fairly angry processor. Okay, so that's face done, it's beard done, hair done, skin done. I'm probably gonna go back over the knees again. I don't like how the knees turned out; they're a little splotchy. And you can do that. My arms turned out fine. My arms turned out pretty okay. His face turned out we're not going to talk about faces. Nobody likes to talk about that. And that leaves the boots, which are boring. Excuse me. And uh, we're going to go over the medals again, which I've talked about before. Now normally I would just go over the medals with Null Oil and then highlight it with Pure Platinum. And I'm going to do that because I'm a lazy fuck. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cheat and we're going to do the metal that I always do. Because I'm a lazy fuck. Where's my wash brush? We had that set aside last time and now I don't know where it is. There it is. Cheapy dollar store. Destroyed. I used to use this one a lot, now I don't, because it's fucked. Uh, one of my friends... ...wants to argue with me about something. By which I mean, we're gonna sit down and scream about the Dyson Sphere program. Which is a neat little game, if you like Factorio and Satisfactory and those types of things. I like both of those. All three, in fact. For those unaware, a Dyson Sphere is a, uh, well now it's Dyson Swarm, is when you have enough objects in orbit around the sun that no visible light escapes. And you are harvesting all of the material that you can from that sun. And you do this... What people think a Dyson Sphere is, is an actual solid uh, shell around your sun. When in reality, it's just... You know, now it's known as the Dyson Swarm, is the one I just described. And uh, I'm not at the point of the Dyson Sphere. I am at the point of Dyson Swarm currently. I'm firing out a bunch of solar sails and shit. And it's beaming the power black back to my planet. Like a James Bond villain. Oh, it's gonna mess up some of my highlights from earlier. I shouldn't have done this. Should not have done this. It's fine. I am allegedly a professional. Just not a master. I didn't want to do this, but uh, I haven't. I'm not about to do non metallic metal. And uh, my true metallic metal still involves washes because I don't really have any dark metal colors. So, this is where we are. Stick wash in there. I don't care. That entire surface is unpainted. Fuck you. Okay. And then we wait for that to dry. You know what? I don't want to let that go to waste. So I'm just going to very quickly, while that dries, slap this over here on this lady's kilt. I've decided that the one with the designated marksman rifle is a woman. Because, uh, fun fact, for whatever reason, and the Russians figured this one out during World War II, uh, women make good sharpshooters, 
for unexplained reasons, but it's a phenomenon that we can observe. It didn't, didn't help them much when they were when they were fighting the White Death. Yo, who would win? The entirety of the Soviets, top snipers, several artillery divisions, or one dipshit Finnish farmer with a Mosin Legant and iron sights. I'll give you a hint. It wasn't the Soviets. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his actual name. It's like Simoy Haiha, I think. Fucking legend. Absolute madman. And he is incorrectly attributed as, uh, when you were shooting Soviets, did you feel anything? To which he responded, recoil. Uh, that one wasn't actually him. That one was a Polish mercenary. Really fucking hated communists. And now I'm broaching dangerously political uh, topics for a paint stream. So we're gonna stop there. I just I'm not gonna play X4. I uninstalled X4 a long ass time ago after the game scurred me. And also didn't work correctly. And then we're gonna paint shades of gray. And we're just gonna hit all those all those high points, all those raised areas, anything the light's touching. Lion King this bitch. You seriously just join in and tell me that and then leave? Bro, why? Support your bro's business. Come on. Try to make a profit here. But it is capitalism. Yes. Seriously, like you guys, if you guys haven't seen any of the Marx Brothers movies, please, for the love of God, Groucho Marx is fucking hysterical. Eve model? Do I don't have any Eve models? Are you telling me that there there are Eve models as mods for uh, for X4? That would be interesting, but you forget your boy has never played Eve. Just wait. You just wait. Okay, the autofocus isn't too high. Zoom that out a little bit so we can see the little booties. Being a little quiet just because this is. I'm still used to the heavy metal process, so... Oh shit, he's releasing actual models for their for their game for... Hmm, maybe I will get a few of those. I'm kinda... Kinda itching to paint some spaceships. I'll do this dude's shoes up real good. Man, I never would have thought when I first got into this hobby I'd ever be this good. I would still get better. That's the way it goes. We're always getting better. 
Unless you're one of those hack wallet warriors that just wants models on the table, at which point, fuck you, get out of my hobby. Get out of here. You're trying to get into the hobby, that's great, good. You're welcome. But uh, if you're just a dickhead who wants to spend money on a game so we can chase the meta every three goddamn weeks at tournaments, please fucking stop. You're ruining it. Especially if you're doing that in 40k, it's a solved fucking game. Has been since 5th edition. I know 9th edition is allegedly bringing back melee, but come on guys, it's still gun lines all the way down. Like, don't, don't kid yourselves. Imperial Fist Bolter line, why wouldn't you? I get back in, my Space Wolves are just gonna count as Storm Wardens. And they'll be Imperial Fist successors because the guy who created them never confirmed who their Primarch was. It was the Khan, fun fact. Not actually Robodorn. But uh White Scars don't get uh they don't get bolter line drills, so tough shit. Or White Scars now. Wait no. Imperial Fist now. Bam. That's the one. I'm very tired. Oh shit, we have to three viewers in chat. Yes, hello, good evening. Damn. Damn. We're getting places. We're making big plays. We're doing things. Contact creation and shit. No, I'm really. Oh yeah. So for people just tuning in, uh, I've tried to do the entire goddamn thing without using any washes, and it's giving me a fucking mental breakdown. Like it's looking good, but holy shit! Right, we're doing the lighter grays now. Like actual miniature panic attacks on stream this entire time. The entirety of Saturday's stream. The butt's a little green. His butt can be as green as he wants. The kilt. I'm gonna go over it later with more tartan. Oh, and study. EZ, PZ. I wish it was a plumber. Oh, yeah, no, no tool bag today. Feels good. Now I can actually take it up ladders. Just have one of those stupid handheld bucket style tool bags. Which don't get me wrong, they're great, but can't take it up ladders. Just sit the new one on my shoulders is great. I don't even I don't even have enough shit to put in it yet. I should buy like another three pairs of channel lock wrenches. Remember, kids, you can actually pull the paint around while it's still wet. Fun fact. 
so you can actually correct some fucking crazy mistakes that you make. If they are in fact the unwanted kind. Actually turning out pretty good. I'm pleased with myself. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna do a light aside that on the gloves. Did he eat too much kelp? No, he's Scottish. It's tartan. Fucking it's supposed to be vibrant. This is a fanciful sci-fi setting in which William Wallace is running around with fucking robot arms that can flip a tank and a sword that emits a plasma. It's great. I love it. I've played exactly one game of Infinity ever. I don't even think that I won. Mind you, my opponent didn't exactly win either. He had a bad day. He had a very bad day. Don't fuck with the guy who brings nothing but heavy weapons in a small scale game. Well, why would you do that? Because funny. Because funny, that's why. Because nobody expects half their army to get obliterated on turn one by anti-tank mortars in a match where you can't actually feel the tank. As the kids say, uh, top fucking keck. Four playbacks? What the fuck? How are there four playbacks with only three viewers? What the fuck is this? YouTube, are you drunk? Am I not drunk enough? Anyway, we're gonna be a lazy ass on the metal because I, I'm not about to, uh, non-metallic metal. Oh man, I haven't used raising ring and platinum in forever. Okay, hang on. Shake at the paint. Always shake your paint, kids. It's very important. The camera's also shaking because it is still haphazardly suspended above my desk. It's, it is, it's been tradition since the very first stream that I ever streamed painting. It's a tradition that I never intend to fix. Uh, yeah. Refresh your window. I'll refresh my window if I goddamn want. But yeah, no, you can totally use Gundams to uh, represent Tau. In fact, that's why the Tau exist. Fun fact. Uh, they released those weeaboo space communists to appeal to the Japanese market. I'll do the little stripes because you can see my highlights shining through a little bit from back when I did my white subcoat. Yeah, it's the only reason the tower in the in the 40k setting to appeal to the Japanese market. And they've been a cancer on the franchise ever since. And they're not the good guys, by the way. Uh, people aren't aware of the Tau eugenics programs and forced chemical castration. True story. The Tau are just as bad as the Imperium of Man, and the Necrons are the good guys. Also a true story. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want the orcs to win Warhammer 40k. I want the orcs to have their, their victory. 
fact, you know what? I think it's going to be the meme of the day for Thursday's stream. It's going to be the, uh, the full-scale, all-factions simultaneously map for the Warhammer Galaxy. I'm not putting an ink wash on it. That's the entire purpose of this. It's an exercise. Oh yeah, do you think the Tau sounds suspiciously like current events? Uh, I do too, but we're trying to avoid that on here, so we can't talk about it, because... Google. <sighs> Taiwan's, Taiwan is a real actual place you can go, by the way. Just a heads up. It exists. True story. And it is Tau like the Greek letter. Alright, I was gonna do a little brass fittings. I was. Ah, fuck. Where'd that go? Oh no. Hang on. Ah! ah. Saved it. Found my paint. Uh, yeah, it's spelled uh, T A I W A N. Taiwan. The W O N. I don't fucking know. Google it. Pretty sure it comes up when you Google search Tiananmen Square as well. I don't need to thin my mouth as our gold. Okay, we're gonna be filthy and we're just gonna paint straight out of the fucking pot. Because they're Scottish, they're gonna get little brass fittings. Yeah. Going very lightly. I ruin some of my earlier shit to put these on. I shouldn't have even put them on the sleeves. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Watch this, my channel's gonna get fucking banned for that, for that last comment. Immediately. Only been doing this for a month. Banned. Why? Political dissent. Worth it. It's not my main source of income. Anywho. My main source of income is disconnecting power from people who refuse to pay their bills. Ha ha! Yeah, silver probably would have stood up better, but I'm a big fan of bat brass fittings on my backpacks. Little snap fittings. Those will be cinch straps. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna brass fitting as those. All right, there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that one done. Cause I'm a lazy fuck. The rest of them are gonna be even fucking lazier on because now I am just straight up gonna wash the fuck out of them. Those ones we can wash the shit out of. I don't care. I did my experiment. It turned out pretty okay. I'm pretty pleased with it. Looking pretty good. I'll paint the stripes in later. That'll be a fun thing. I thought it'd turn out a lot worse. Well, let's put that out of the way. I'm not gonna fuck it up. We will sit it. Oh no, the sword's uneven. Oh, that wasn't bent back properly. Fuck. Ah, uh, I gotta rebend that pewter. It's fine, I'll just sit him at that angle and then I can't see it. And then it doesn't exist. Alright, there. Solve the problem. Solve the problem. 
Remember, if there's a bad angle on your model, just turn it in a way that you can't see that angle, and then it doesn't exist, and it's not real. What did I learn? I didn't learn shit. <laughs> Beverage of the evening is Black Coal Stout. I want a dragon to paint, bro. I got like five dragons to paint, okay? I got Shub Nigrath sitting over there. I got this little tiny Chinese dragon dog fucking somewhere. I'd show the cool spider lady, but uh, it's covered in a disgusting amount of dust, and I don't feel comfortable showing that on stream, because it will show you all just what a fucking subhuman I am when it comes to desk maintenance. That Bretonian Knight's not too bad, though. And then Bretonian Knight is actually still covered in fucking dust. <laughs> Should've muted my mic. Whatever. It's fine. It's too late. Yeah. Old ass Bretonian night. Look at that shit. Fucking 1998. Itch. It's not done. It's just base coded. Bye bye. Whoever left. I saw somebody say see you. Okay. Where was I? Right. Washes. I need my bigger wash brush. <laughs> there it is. Remember kids, don't use your good brushes for washes because they just they just ruin it. They ruin them fast. So I'm probably just gonna put it on the wash and then call it a night because uh shit takes a minute to dry. We're just gonna do the whole business in all night. Actually, we're going to do the flak jacket and the kilt and the, the green that I've got. And we're going to do the skin and seraphim sepia. And I'm off camera. Good job, me. How much wash is enough? Uh, I don't know, just keep slapping it on. I don't always wipe it off. I don't... I don't wipe it off. Cake that shit on there. Put on so much that nothing of the original model underneath remains. You know, yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna black the flak jacket. We're just gonna cover that in old oil as well. Kilt's the only part that's getting green. Oh man, why are my sinuses suddenly acting up? They're not supposed to act up at this time of night. It's supposed to be like first thing in the morning. And if whatever boiler room I'm in is really dusty. Not supposed to be now. Done, sir. From CPU on there. Ah, uh, no, there was a pet. There we go. There we go. Yeah, just just wipe it clean off. Perfect. Nobody will ever know that I made that mistake. Okay, you don't even know what I was talking about. That happened off camera. Well, bam. That's a little too much. The nice thing about washes is you can just use them to cover all of your little mistakes. No one will know. The R secret. Until I tell everybody what you did. I wouldn't do that. That'd be mean. Do it to the manager of your local games workshop though, it'll be funny. I do not condone the harassment of the manager of your local games workshop, but uh, if you do, tell them, tell them Studio Rockpile sent you, and that also they deserve it. Fucking ruining my hobby by turning it into a business, how dare you. 
yo, you really want to piss off the manager of your local games workshop, fucking magnetize your models. Do it. Okay? Yeah, you don't want any special weapons in this game? Ah, oh, it's fine. I'll just pop off the arms, pop the bolter arms back on. Boom. Easy peasy. No, I'm not buying 30 different bottles for every conceivable heavy weapon layout. No. Just the one model with 30 accessories. All magnetized. Seriously though, like the little neodynic magnets are fucking great. They're fantastic. I, uh, I have a completely modular Predator tank kit. Sponsons come off. The guns come off. The turrets all rotate. All the guns swivel. It's fantastic. I might do a showcase and tutorial on that because I got a few extra guns to put on it. Probably do an entire bit on that actually. Now that I think about it. There's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. Maybe we'll do that this weekend. Maybe we'll do eh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that after I finish with these Galwegians. We're gonna I was off screen there. I was off screen because I had to clean up a mistake and nobody was allowed to see what that mistake was. I'm gonna do that this weekend. We're gonna or not this weekend, but uh after the Galwegians. We're gonna finish up my predator tank. And it's gonna look good. And it's gonna look good. Actually, my, my Predator tank is pretty rad. I put a bunch of spare bits on it. So it's got a funky dozer blade on the front. Big ass. Big ass shield. Why does a tank need a shield? To protect it from tank destroyers, clearly. Like, for those unaware of the, uh, meme-worthy nonsense that was World War II tank technology, uh, go, go, go look at the channel Potential History. And look at his meme tank. We're gonna drink the second that fucking quarantine lifts. Okay, I miss the boys. I miss my homies. If I'd known quarantine would be so long, I would have held the homies tighter. If you are one of the lucky people who can go out and actually interact with your friends, please do. Give them a hug. You never know. You never know when you're not going to be able to see them again for eight months. Because, as I always sign off with, we do live in interesting times. I don't like living in interesting times, man. I wanted to live in a in a quiet, nothing fucking happens time period. And to just go softly into that quiet night. You just, you know, just, I just want to live a quiet life. But nah, nah, we gotta have a fucking pandemic. <laughs> we gotta have this fucking pandemic. Now my now my channel's on a watch list for talking about the pandemic, so fuck it, in for a penny, in for a pound. Uh, Taiwan did it to destabilize China on the global scale. Boom. There's my conspiracy. I'm, a, I'm pushing that one for a year, and I'm sticking to it. 100% made up and fabricated. But buy into that hype train, though. I don't give a fuck, my channel's not monetized. This isn't even a source of income. Oh man, should I just turn into the fucking... fucking info wars of miniature painting? I feel like that already exists. I feel like somebody's already done that bit. Like, legit, I don't know how the fuck Alex Jones does what he does. Like, how how can one man have that much energy? Holy shit, it must be exhausting being Alex Jones. 
wasted all that fucking uptime. Zero downtime. You're just always running on screen at fucking 200%. Like, I pass by somebody on the street, we, like, fleetingly glance at each other for a half second because, you know, there's a person there, I have to acknowledge that they exist. Like, that shit is exhausting. Okay, fuck, if I didn't have to do it because of social pleasantries, you better believe I'd just fucking robot everywhere. During my last year at school, there was like a one month period where I just didn't talk to anyone at all. Just autopilot my way to and from whatever the fuck I was doing. It was a very hectic schedule. Fun fact, I, I don't believe that for that two-week period I actually even, or two-month, however the fuck long period I just said. I don't believe that for any of it uh, I actually even went to class. So, there's that. Okay, you know what, I'm going to use, this one's just going to be completely normal. I'm just going to illustrate what the, I'm going to do it to illustrate what different shades do. You're just tinting the colors underneath, right? It's nothing radical, and sometimes it looks good, and sometimes it looks not good. And I'm always very heavy with my washes because I'm a fucking pleb. As I just illustrated, uh, I'm not one of those people who does the crazy fucking 300 layers of paint. I grew up with uh, and base coat and wash and shade, and highlight, and that was it. If you were feeling frisky, you dry brushed. If you played Tomb Kings, you dry brushed. Because, haha, skeletons. Man, I kind of want to I don't want a skeleton army. Both in terms of miniatures and in terms of real life. If you don't want a skeleton army, you should really stop and consider what you're doing and what you want out of life because uh you're probably an extremely boring person if you don't want a skeleton army. Just saying. Like, I just, I, I don't know. I feel the need to point that out. Like, you know, you know who has, uh, you know who has skeleton armies? Cool guy necromancer, lords of the undead, that's who. Don't you want to be one of those? I do. Or are you feeling attacked? Do you not want a skeleton army? Those are the only people that I'm attacking right now. Dude, you play wizards and fucking everything. What do you mean you don't want to be a fucking... ...undead lord with a skeleton army? Oh shit, you got a casket of souls, bro? Damn, that's a, that's a nice-ass mob. That's good as souls. Almost bought a fucking Warden engine. A couple years back. Because it was allegedly going out of print. And the one box set that you could still get it in... Was like... Impossible to find. And I happened to find it. 
It was like a hundred ten dollar box set. And fucking that that model alone was like eighty bucks. And so pile of shame part of my brain is going. You'll buy it. Do it though. Paint it. It'll look great. And the rational part of my brain goes, We don't even play fantasy. We have no intention of playing Warhammer Fantasy. Why would you buy it? And the reptile part of my brain goes, uh... Right, I set him aside so I wouldn't destroy him. That's not where the reptile part of my brain went. Uh, sorry, I just noticed one of my three models was missing and I realized that I put it over to the side there so I wouldn't destroy it. Yeah, no, the reptile part of my brain went. Yes, but consider that shiny box with magic treasure, good as fuck. And then I remembered that I'd been unemployed for six months. So I wound up not buying. Ah, shit, is that a strand of hair? It doesn't matter. We'll highlight it later. We'll just, we'll just draw that back in. You dry? Can I just be a savage and immediately start painting you? Nah, it's 940. Okay, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you're watching this in the future, thank you. Uh... We stay stay safe out there, kids. We uh we unfortunately live in interesting times.